take you here. You can either click on tutorials or scroll through with the arrow buttons. And here at tutorials, not that one. Scroll down and download. Click on the download zip folder, and this would be 188 kilobyte size. And click on 16 example and just save it to your desktop and open it in Flash. Back here in Flash, I want to click on this. I want to cl double click inside the button so I can go inside of it. And you have two words: Scene One and the name of your button. You have up, over, down. Don't worry about hit. Um, I'm gonna create another layer. I'm gonna insert keyframe insert keyframe and right click insert blank keyframe right click insert blank keyframe and what I'm going to do is over to the over up is pretty much this the button itself so wherever you put on the over to, uh, over the up frame you're going to see it right here over is when you roll the mouse over and see something pop up down is when you click on the button and hold the mouse down on it you're gonna see whatever it is pop up. I'll show you an example for up, I mean over, I'm gonna create a box on the second frame, on the second layer. Lock this just in case you end up clicking on this, or in just in case when you try it, you think you're creating a box on this frame, sometimes it ends up on there. So lock it here on that one. What I'm gonna do is control enter. I put my mouse over it and there you go, it pops up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and drag this over to the down. So now when it's over here, there's nothing there. I want to see what happens on the down. Control enter. It doesn't pop up. When you click and hold it down, there you go. Let it go, disappears. Okay. What I'm gonna do is show you an example of something. I'm gonna take this double click so you make sure you grab everything. I'm gonna move this all the way right there. And control enter. Let's see if it does what I was thinking. There you go. Once you have content within your, let's say, come out, double click. If you have content within your button and it's in an area other than where the button is itself. It's going to recognize that content outside of the button. So, not here, but when you show enter and see the website itself, you see how the mouse changed? It's recognizing something there. It's recognizing something that's part of your button. So, make sure your roller effect is within the button itself or very close to it so that your button doesn't extend beyond the, the, the content of your button, doesn't extend beyond the button itself. So you might be rolling over things all the way over here and you don't want that. So I was going to try to create some type of rollover effect and I'm going to start with some words. So what I'm going to do is delete this button I'm going to create some words and create another layer up at the top so I won't get confused. Drag this over here and call this, oops, words. And I'm gonna make them black so it's noticeable. Bring this tab up, bring the size up, and need the color black. And call it words. <laughs> um, do is make sure that's a static text. Right click and convert to symbol. Convert it to a button. Call it words button. And I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not going to give it an instance name because I'm not adding any script to this. It's just an example. But when you do add script to this, make sure you want to copy and paste it into the, inst inside the instance area after you convert it. But press OK. And what I'm going to do is double click and go inside of it. And I'm going to right click, insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe, create another layer, insert blank keyframe, insert blank keyframe. And you don't have to add all these frames. If you know what frame you're going to add the rollover effect to, 
just add a keyframe to that area. But for me, I'm just getting an example just in case I want to do stuff in the other frames itself. So I'm going to, let's see here, click on this, zoom in. Great. What I'm going to do is copy this. To copy this, a good way is to um, hold down Alt, click on it, and drag over. Now you have a copy. But I want to copy. I'm going to delete that one. And I'm going to add it to this frame. I'm going to block, block this layer. And paste it in place. Right there. And then I'm going to scroll down. To try to align it correctly. The reason I did this is I have a words text under here. But it's locked on this layer. Then I have a words text on this top layer. What I'm going to do is convert the word text that's on this top layer into a movie clip. And the reason I'm converting it to a movie clip is because I'm going to animate these words. So I'm going to right click, convert to symbol, and convert it to a movie clip. And call it words, movie, uh, call it words animation. And once again, I don't need to copy and paste these words into the instance name because I'm not adding any type of script to this. Only if you're adding script. So I'm going to press OK. And now, as you can see, I have two words. One at the bottom, one at the top. The top was on this layer, the bottom was on that layer, but it's locked. Control Z to select my line correctly. And I'm going to double click inside this movie clip. Now I'm going to add some type of animation using these keyframes I have here. I only need a few. I want to say 1 to 15. Insert a keyframe, right click, create motion tween. Motion tween allows you to create some type of smooth animation through transition and keyframe from 1 to 15. On frame 15, I'm going to make the words go up, but I'm going to shrink it. So about right there. Make sure it's centered. And then make sure it's selected. Don't get confused because sometimes you might be selected on the keyframe itself, but I'm going to select the word. Come down here to the tab, and under your properties, and you have this option here. It says color. Click on the arrow bar, drop down bar. You have none, brightness, tint, alpha, and advance. I'm going to click on alpha, and I already dropped to 1% because on my website I've been animating stuff in the percentage of alpha. And you see the opacity went down. I want it to go down to zero. You can play around with it if you want. I'm going to zero. From here, this is what happens. I want things to go a little bit faster, so I'm going to go to frame 15. I'm going to drag this to 10. I'm going to erase all this. Right click and remove frames. Now, the only thing is, once it gets to frame 10, you can have it. I'll just show you an example. Control Enter. Now, roll your mouse over words. This. One thing I noticed, um, over rollover, it didn't have that effect. It didn't just do the effect by itself. Only when I click on the button, and it does this. You have this option, or if you want this to happen, this animation to happen, when it rolls over, I'll show you. I'm going to go back. Remember, up, over, and down. Currently, it's on down. So I'm going to drag this over to over. I'm going to remove.